up guys my name is Jesse and welcome to my gym I'm gonna walk around and give you a tour of my gym and try to give you some details as I go along if you have any questions let's post them or um, leave them some comments and uh, I'll try to answer those later on I guess to start out first I have a basic storage cabinet that I keep some accessories uh, shoes and some other clothing and cleaning supplies. Uh, a body saw, a leg press, hack squat, a BOSU ball, and a wall and a couple exercise balls, and and then a uh, you know, I just... this is my True Fitness P3000 uh, treadmill. Uh, they work pretty fantastic. They're quiet comfortable. If you guys haven't used them, I would definitely recommend it. Um, if I haven't told you guys yet, my gym is uh, Arnold theme. So I'll just do a quick wrap around here and you'll see a bunch of different Arnold uh, pictures on a wall over here for my little bit of motivation that I use. Move on to this wall here. Let's see if I can get you guys a good shot here. This is a Bodycraft functional trainer. They're 200 pound stacks on each side, two to one ratio. So I know it's actually 100 pounds per side of feel weight. Um, it actually functions very well, it's very smooth. I highly recommend a functional trainer if you guys don't have one in your gym. I mean, ultimate and versatility, the amount of things that you can do with these things. Um, different accessories for it. More straps. This is for ham, this is by Spud Ink, it's for hamstring curls. Um, to be honest, not a fan. It doesn't work that well. Um, still looking to find something better than that. But pulleys are really smooth on it and they're not real expensive. I want to say this was about $2,100, $2,200 and I bought it new. Um, put plywood on a wall and put some rogue hangers on here to hold a lat pull down bar. And, Curl bars I use on the functional trainer. I got my bands um, and the hip circles for one for me, one for my wife. This is the Pioneer uh, leg belt. I'm buying me a black and red. Um, just the colors that I kind of liked. No real reason for it. Matches my rack a little bit that you'll see in a second. Um, this is a Laman. Uh, GT Pro uh, spinner bike. I use this uh, pretty much every day that I lift to get uh, warmed up. Uh, that and the treadmill. Uh, usually what I use to, to get my body rolling before I start moving some weights. And uh, let's see if I can get a better shot here for my barbell rack. It's a, a six post uh, Titan rack. The urethane protector is on it to protect your bars. Um, I put the plywood on the wall and then mount it to the back of the plywood um, so it holds uh, sturdy. Uh, that is uh, the Rogue Utility Bench. Um, Chanoa Clock. My wife used to work there, so I got quite a few Chanoa stuff if you're not familiar with it. Um, so, barbells. Top, it's a very top plastic, is the Rogue, um, I guess, a stretch bar, I'm not sure what they call it. Uh, basically, it's just a PVC pipe uh, painted black with a Rogue sticker on it that you use for stretching. So, um, But it works well for that. Uh, top is the Kabuki Strength Cadillac bar, um, probably one of my favorite bars, period. Uh, the Kabuki Strength Duffel bar, another fantastic bar. Uh, below that is the stainless steel. Uh, Rogue Ohio Power Bar, and below that is the black and uh, red all zero coat Rogue um, 
Ohio deadlift bar. Uh, next below is the Ohio uh, robe of a bell bar uh, for my wife. And uh, Titan Fitness um, Safety Squat Bar. Yeah. Which, uh, to my surprise, has been an absolute fantastic bar. Um, no complaints with it. I do wish they made a new version of it, though, that had a back that would spin. I think those would be uh, make it a little bit nicer bar if it did have those on it. Um, maybe my only complaint or wish list for that. Um, I have a body solid um, incline decline uh, bench press. Uh, it is absolutely rock solid. Um, the padding on them is, is commercial grade. It's extremely firm. Um, doesn't break down. I've had that now for four years and it's just it's like brand new um, I don't see a lot of body style stuff out there but I tell you I used to have a bunch of other body style stuff along with you know, my leg press and uh, the commercial stuff has all been fantastic quality so I definitely recommend you guys if you get to see it to check them out uh, they do have one other thing I'm looking at purchase from body style they haven't really found anything else that's been good this is what I'm missing in my gym in my opinion guys leave in comments below if you think I'm wrong or we just do something else and that would be um, uh, the curl leg curl and uh, leg extension body style seems to make a decent one uh, Titans I kind of see some mixed reviews on everything else seems super expensive um, sorry off topic uh, on the floor here is my rogue uh, deadlift platform in the back wall these are additional uh, pads um, I use these things all the time I put them underneath my benches where I move my benches to drop the drop the dumbbells on I also use them for you know deficit deadlifts so you stack them up for the height you need or your cheater deadlifts so they work great for that too This is um, my rope. That's just a hanger bought from Home Depot. Put a two inch rope, uh, two inch thickness, and it's, uh, I wanna say 40 feet long, so it's it's pretty heavy. Uh, a fan that's kind of mounted to the wall. Bring some more cooling. I mean, it is a basement, so it is uh, air conditioned and, you know, and, and heated, you know, and dehumidifier running all that stuff so I don't have to worry about that um, this is my way too expensive rogue weight tree uh, with the urethane uh, bumper plates 255s and 445s and a pair of 35 25 10s and then I got the four 410 plates and uh, the change plates, and there's a two and a half and a one and a quarter. And still missing the fives because they're never in stock. And that's my old like uh, old trap bar that I bought at my local fitness uh, store. Um, what else? Well, we did not completely miss this guy. Sorry about that. This is the Rogue uh, Curl Bar. It's a Cerakote finish. Uh, it's fantastic. I also have an old, you can see it behind here, an old, uh, I guess it's kind of like a cap uh, curl bar behind my dumbbells that I used to use. It's super aggressive. Uh, on the metal, I don't really care for it. Tears up your hands. The Rogues is actually much smoother and it's also thicker, but it feels a lot better in your hands and yeah, with the grippiness. Uh, dumbbell set. I'll give you a little closer look at one here. 
These are five pounds. I don't know if you recognize the symbol, but that's Anytime Fitness Gym. I bought these used off of them when, when they bought I bought new ones for their gym. Um, it's five pounds to 85 pounds um, at the end. I did not buy the 90 through 100s is uh, way too much money for what you get in my opinion for how little you use them for um, if you can afford them that's awesome to you guys but um, I thought I was spending saving my money spending a little other places that made more sense to me um, the, obviously the what's holding the dumbbells is a rogue um, I don't know they call rogue weight trays rogue storage shelves uh, they are extremely beefy and heavy duty. Um, very, uh, they're very difficult to put together by yourself. Um, believe me, that really sucked because they're they're really heavy shelves. Um, but I'm pretty sure they will last. Uh, atomic bomb going off, so should good should be good forever once you have them for your whole life. Um, I do like that you can change it around on the shelves that you want and they have different types of shelves. So I got a medicine ball holder you know that other top shelf oh boy and my top shelf here I have of course my Arnold book encyclopedia and these are the, the dead wedge I use for my deadlifts they work okay not as good as a jack obviously but it takes a lot less space the massage balls this is like a six pound I don't know what you call it it's like a mini slam ball but my wife uses these are the the rogue uh, kettlebells that are made here in Cat and Cato like Michigan I am I am from Michigan so I definitely want to support those guys for doing that so I'll continue to buy more of those and all the rogue plates if they ever make any more um, this is a cap 3 to 5 pound and uh, 18 pound caps also uh, 26, uh, 40, 62 and uh, a couple of medicine balls and then over to uh, TV 50 inch 4K TV that I watch my YouTube on while I'm working out Obviously the stereo. I have it built uh, built into the speakers in the ceiling that can run all the way down. So I get the same sound quality and volume no matter where I'm at. So I don't have to blast it on the back here of the on the treadmill while I'm watching TV to hear anything. Um, I built this room myself with the drop ceiling and everything. Um, by the way, it's all LED lighting that's adjustable. I have it as bright as I can go right now to get better uh, camera quality. I usually don't have it up this bright. Um, what else am I missing here? So, back over to the corner. More Arnold posters. Uh, more Arnold posters. Foam rollers, a firm and a medium. These are my strong knee braces and elbow braces. Uh, Titan Fitness handle there. These are furniture dollies and uh, they work fantastic for hamstring curls. Put them on a floor, put your feet on them, pull your hamstring legs in, they curl. Work fantastic for that. And there they go. So I got there's a rogue a deadlift belt and this is the belt that comes with the rogue rhino another bosu ball these uh, help they help you for hanging for doing like, hanging leg lifts or if your hand strength runs out you can still continue to go obviously lots of wrenches from rogue we all know the ab wheel and uh, 
I just bought these plastic panels from Home Depot, put them on plywood in the back, and then bought some hangers, and I just use it however I need and put it up on there. It's the cheap way of uh, building a hanger wall that 40 feet years ago has been fine. All right, next, uh, finish out the room. I could go over to the big pink elephant in the room in a minute. Um, the Arnold poster, a uh, punching bag, my punching gloves. This is my old original power bar. I've literally had this bar since uh, 1998 that I got out of Powerhouse in Warren in Michigan that I used to work out for many, many years at. And I still have it, still works fine, still straight, but man, the narrowing is, is just shot. But still works great. I have no idea who made it though. Couple of boogie string stickers. And this is where I hang my, my punching bag that has like a hydraulic shock up into the ceiling so it takes all the the bouncing out of it with the spring makes it nice and quiet. Um, let's see if I can give you a better view of the rack. So this is the Rogue RM6 rack. Um, lots of different accessories. I probably can't remember the names of all of them to be honest with you. Um, the Rogue uh, I don't know if they call it the Fat Thompson, the Thompson Fat Pad uh, utility bench uh, with a narrowed handle, um, dip bars, um, straps, and I got the double pull up bar with a fat bar up on the top of that. Two leg rollers, and that is the stainless steel rogue pull white pull down bar. It's the rogue rhino in the back mounted to it. So it's this is I guess my version of a I guess you've seen the coop squat. It's my version of that. couple of the rogue accessories which are fantastic you guys probably already know if you have them uh, the rogue stinger mounted up there and see there's the stinger there's the plates that's how it attaches I'm using it as a pulley for my pull downs uh, weights more weights these are the road deep dishes. Um, I had my wonderful wife paint them for me. Uh, we use uh, like a, a tar uh, gray paint marker. Um, this is kind of the match to Jim. And they came out fantastic. I sure wish they would make the change plates for these dang things though. I still got my old cap plates. Um, for my change plates, tens, fives, you know, and two and a halfs, obviously. And your collars, a couple of different roll collars. I know you've probably seen the other ones over there. And these ones come with the, the Rhino when you buy the Rhino. Um, yeah, what else here? Um, those came with it when I bought the rack. This is probably a little bit different. This is uh, Titan Fitness's roller on here. It's about, I'll say four months old now, and you can see it's, uh, it's beat up pretty good. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna last. I am waiting for Ghost Drone to come out with their version, their new version, I should say. Uh, they told me back in February, they're gonna have a new version out in six weeks, so. I sent them an email asking when it's coming, still hasn't, and the version I'm talking about is their 2.0 does not fit a Kabuki Cadillac bar on their axle bar, so 
I am holding off on to their new version was supposed to be able to fit that is why enough here so the Titan Fitness does fit this just fine so um, I think you're only got 125 bucks for those so it is a steal of a price it's maybe not the the best quality in the world for maybe one last thing but it does do the job pretty well uh, it is very functional so probably the most important thing there's a better book utility bench uh, maybe something you can't see down in here is Brandon Campbell's had his uh, made a, a centering post. I don't know what they call it. To center the rack, all the, I mean the bench always in the middle of the rack. And I took that apart and I mounted that to the to the road rhino or uh, rack, so I still had to be able to use that to center uh, the bench. And so far, that's been great. Um, these, also, I like these. I use them for squats only. That's about it. Um, they do work well. Um, maybe a little trick here for you guys. If you run out of bolts, if you have more accessories than you have bolts, like I do for some reason, um, I use these pins for your straps. And that does a good job of actually holding this in place and also makes it real easy to, um, to take in and out if you want to get rid of it if you need more space or something like that. But it does hold it up well. Uh, this is maybe a little trick for you guys if you don't have more bolts. Um, I think that's about it for, for my gym tour. That's all the equipment that I have. If there's any other any questions you have again guys please let me know um, if you want to see any more detailed reviews or or views on something uh, let me know I could do a little more of a, a walkthrough videos and maybe how to utilize the equipment or what I like about each one but more so than not if you want and uh, that's it guys and thanks for watching appreciate it Hey guys, this is some bonus coverage. I'll uh, show you my, uh, my home theater. I've seen a few of you guys did that. Looks like some people like to see that type of stuff. Um, so I guess I'll show you mine. If you show me yours. Um, again, I built this theater myself also. Uh, let's see if I can give you a better view. Picked out, I had my wife pick out her two favorite movies. So. We built the frames and we built almost all the furniture in here besides the couches ourselves also and quick walk around of it kind of in the purple and red color kind of matching and the batman the joker from the dark knight Uh, 75 inch 4k uh, TV um, the entertainment center that I built the high my electronics inside of there and again the speakers uh, 7 plus 2 audio with the speakers on a back wall and up into the ceiling couple subwoofers down there underneath the cabinets um, candles you know I kind of built with a, a Bluetooth um, candles in there and they're kind of pretty cool when you light up at night with all the lights off sorry the lighting is really bad in here because it's meant to be a theater so the lighting is uh, pretty horrible Here's more of the furniture that we built Candles that we built, wax coming down, chest trunks. So that's all, guys. Thanks.